Hi, I'm Annika Johnsons from Al Johnsons in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. So this is the barn and it's been a little neglected since I've owned it. And there's all kinds of burrs here. But it's still an old barn that they had cows. So I save all the metal because I, I, I just don't want to get rid of it. One, at one time in Washington Island, they had goats, these Angora goats, and they were going to kill the last six because they got rid of all the other ones. And Lars didn't like that. So he said, listen, I want to get those six Angora goats. Can we keep them at your farm? And I said, sure. So I made this into a place where they could stay. I had a door here. They could go in and out. I built a nice big fenced in yard for them. I have no water out here. So I had to carry pickle buckets from my bathtub in the house every day, twice a day to bring water out for the goats. But when they came, they weren't well. And I don't know much about goats, but I guess they kept picking on one. Like five of them kept beating up on this other one. And I had the vet come and look because look, what's going on? Why do they not want this one in the herd? So I had to separate the poor little one, littler one in there. And they were all together. And um, they all had lice, which I'm like, uh, okay, because I was just touching them all but all animals have their own kind of lice. They don't jump from humans to animals to whatever. And she was very sick. And when one gets sick, the other ones tend to pick on the sick one. And I didn't know that, so it's like a pecking order. So I got them completely healthy. Um, in the springtime, I found Nora Aline and a friend of hers in Sturgeon Bay. They needed to be sheared because they're Angoras. And they came here and they sheared them all. And I said, do you want them? And she said, oh my God, I love them. And I said, take them. Never doing goats out here again, people. If you don't have water in the barn, don't take goats. Don't do it. I'm telling you. So my poor barn right now, this is what's happening. This didn't used to be like this, but you see the hole up above. And I want to put a metal roof on it, but until I own this farm, because the restaurant owns the farm, I can't do any work on it because it would be a waste. And I see that it's rotting and I see it's sad but I still envision that I am going to save it. This is a little creepy. I always like this part. It's hard to open the door in here, but this is a chicken coop, which we talked about chickens before. And if you see in here, it's like it used to have a big rack right there where all the chickens could roost. And every time snakes molt, you know, when they lose their skin. All you see in here are skins hanging down from the ceiling. It was like the creepiest thing. Big long snake skins hanging everywhere in here. So I don't like going in there very much. So that, that's going to be gone. That's, that's in here. Okay, and then there's a really cool upstairs. Now when the kids were, when Bo was little and he always brought his friends out here, this little cool thing goes up and down, I can just latch it up and then I can bring it down. And then if you just climb up the ladder and then just like look around up there, I have some a swing up there. They used to, um, I tied a big swing, a rope swing, and they would swing and then I was gonna put a zip line where they could zip across back and forth, but I didn't want them to fall out the window so I had to board up the window. But I envision this barn to be something someday. It's a lot of work. You have to take this out, you know, this kind of stuff. This is all cement. This is where the cows were, you know? Oh, I can see the swing up there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the kids loved coming out here. This is like, but all this has to go, you know, like if I decide to make this a big room 
and then make this a, a, a garage and have a little bit of a room here and then have the whole upstairs be like a sleeping loft and kind of like a little art studio, whatever. I mean, yeah, I need to win the lottery. So we'll see, I'll probably fall down before that happens. But that happens. So that's my barn. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time. Thank you.